All right, man, listen. We had to give y'all some extra shit. And with extra shit, we had to bring a hot chick for the fellas and some ladies. Yeah, because we know some of y'all watch. Yeah. <laughs> Risa, New York. We're going to have to figure some shit out. Uh, we here to give y'all some juice. Because y'all deserve it, goddammit. Y'all be hanging in there with us. Y'all see us go through the whole goddamn, and we always want to toss some off the glass for y'all, some extra. So that's what we're going to do right here. A little extra. The goddamn after party. Damn fool, what you got for us, brother? Man, I'm, you know. First of all, let me just stop. Keep on, pour your drink. Okay. Um, we got a lovely lady right here with us, and uh, I met this lady a couple, of, a couple of years back. She had just moved here, met her at the comedy show. She was doing her thing. She was baking and shit. You still baking and shit. Yes. Bro. Yeah, she was still, still baking, baking and shit. And I was like, okay. She was probably about. She was. She was. She was country thick nigga. She was that Memphis thick nigga. She was. Oh, oatmeal. So I'm skinny now. Yeah. So. Oh, you Hollywood now. Nah, you Hollywood. You it's, can't go back it's home. It's beautiful. I, you it, can't even go back home. It's not. Not with that. You got to. She got to put 15 more pounds on to go back home. She. They looking at her like. Yeah, they gonna be like, what the fuck? Now? It, you, you yeah, you change. <laughs> yeah. So. um we are, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit something about what you do. Hello, I'm Mia Dorsey. I model eggs. I also have two businesses. I have a swimsuit line called Coconut Swim, and I have a cheesecake business called Sweet Addiction Desserts that I've been doing for about 14 years now. Mm. So that's a little bit about me. That's enough. That's a lot. <laughs> Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this shit. It's the after party. Let's get after it. Nia, look, we were talking before we started running and we were discussing um, some of the guys you dealt with and I was telling you how my audience, our audience receives certain things. Um, give us an experience that you had with a guy, uh, Nia, that, that you feel like kind of highlights out of all the, everything that goes on in a relationship, this stands out to you. What would that be like? Okay. Well, I have so many. Give us, a sexual one. give us a sexual one. I can't give you a sexual one because I <laughs> really haven't had enough. I can give you a fucked up one, though. Yeah, go ahead. But make it sexual. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. you see the way the wide glass so, perched, though. <laughs> this happened the year you met me, 2016. I moved to L.A. And I w was moving here to further my career. Plus, I was moving away because I had... Um, had a situation with an ex I had broke up with. Okay. Um, on my birthday, I guess he thought it was his birthday out of town. He ended up hooking up with somebody on my birthday. Oh. Oh wow. But don't worry because I had my hookup too. With get somebody. back. <laughs> get your get back. So we were even. But anyways, I ended up moving to LA and um. This sounds like a healthy relationship. I gotta mm -hmm. tell you. <laughs> no, we had a lot of dysfunction. <laughs> Sounds healthy, Simo. <laughs> Simo said this shit's not healthy. Fucking bitches, they just so had a I bad night. Niggas, and no, it was, it was know, what it was. He just left. He shouldn't have left me on my birthday in, oh, no, in Vegas. Oh, ba 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 ba. Come on, story. man. But anyways, in um, yeah, it was somebody I ended up dating after. But anyways, so um. <laughs> Fast where he ended up coming, trying to stay here in L.A., trying to run up behind me or whatever. Mm. And one night, Billy and his wife uh, asked me to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Cold boy Billy? Yeah. Okay. They asked me to come to, uh, I think it was a movie screening. I think it was Russell Simmons. Uh, yeah. Movie screen or something like that. I knew the Toxic Twins was going to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> some kind of way. And they did have a little situation because she wanted to go mm -hmm. to the strip club. And he was like, I won with it. And it was a little, little yeah. situation. But anyways. Mm -hmm. So they dropped me off. Well, before then, my ex, you know, he was trying to get me back or whatever. So I was like, okay, I'll be nice, you know. Never really done nothing for him like that, the years of us being together. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be nice. He being nice. I go to the store, buy him groceries. I fix his place, place up, organized everything, got all his clothes, out the bags, onto hangers, color coordinated. Each drawer has... Like his toothpaste, toothbrush in that drawer, hair in this drawer, all this, just everything organized like he hired somebody. You know, some told me every time I'm too nice, something go wrong. Mm. So he like, here, I'm going to give you this key to my place. You know, I ain't never had nobody give me that key. He gave me a key to his place, and he was like, here, I want you to have a key. So I'm like, he want me to do that because if he's doing something, he ain't got no business. 
I could just easily slide up in here. Yeah. <laughs> so he tells me, I want you to stay tonight. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay tonight. But I'm out with friends right now. Go on in the building. And when I get there, I'm going to be there. Okay. So Billy and them drop me off. I go up there. I get ready. I'm not waiting. And then a little child is probably came to me. You know, if he come in here, I'm going to play like I'm asleep. Mm. Or whatever like that. So I hear somebody coming in. So I'm trying to play like I'm asleep. Before then, some told me, don't leave your stuff out in the living room. But I was like, fuck it, I'm not going to get it. So I'm going to play sleep, but I hear some extra voices. So I'm like, fuck, playing sleep. What's, who else is here? So I go to peep out <coughs> the door. I see him going to the damn um, guest room. So I'm like, why the fuck he going in the guest room for it? So I'm coming out, he sees me, he walks away from the guest room, and he's coming into the bedroom to push me back in. Mm. So I'm like, what's going on? He was like, nothing. Like, he has worry on his face. <laughs> so I'm like, what's going on? Plus, my purse is in Word. the guest That's room. Right. So I'm like, well, I need to, if somebody in, I need to get my shit. Because I remember a long time ago, me and my friends ran up in somebody's house, and she ended up stealing somebody's watch. So if somebody <laughs> else is near my purse, then they might steal something at my purse. Who are you know, your I, friends? I went to run up on my other ex and beat him up in his friend's house. And oh, my him. God, bro. So anyways, so he pushing me in the room, and he pushes me on the bed, and... <clears throat> I'm like, I need to get my purse. I'm going to get it for you. I'm like, okay, go get it then. So he's sizing me up in front of the door like this. And then I'm like, go get my shit. He's still standing. I'm like, no, nah, you got me fucked up. So I push his ass out the way and I go to run. He snatches me back in the room. I'm yelling because there's somebody in there. They need to know I'm in here too. <laughs> so he throws me back. He's fucked up on the influence. He says, I forget you was here. He doesn't remember he said that. Damn. So I'm like, this nigga forget out. I'm like, let me go. Let me get my stuff. Just let me go. I don't. I just want to see who in there. Just let me go because I know how I can get. I never went crazy on him, but I did that day. So I'm like, just let me get my stuff. Just let me go. No, no. He, now he holding me hostage. She holding me down. I'm wrestling, trying to get through him. So I spazzed out. I'm biting him. He got bite marks all on him. Yeah, wow. I'm going crazy. Um, Cause you won't let me out now. He trying to while this I'm fighting him, he's trying to full on fucking text. abduction. <laughs> while I'm fighting him, he's trying to take somebody. So I'm like, you trying to tell the person to leave? Okay. So he finally moves out the way out of thirty minutes of holding me down. I run out the room. Nobody's in there. And my purse that was sitting on the table is now sitting on the floor. So now I'm mad because I don't see shit and I know somebody was here and he comes out the room. I told you want nobody here, you was just tripping. <laughs> so now I'm pissed because ain't nobody here. Just like a nigga. <laughs> you tripping. <laughs> see? <laughs> All that didn't happen is your purse on the floor. So I know my purse wasn't on the floor, so I was like, my purse wasn't <laughs> on the floor. Yes, it blood. was. So I'm like, okay, so I spazz out. I'm like, I'd be damned if I clean this motherfucker up and another bitch come up in here. So I took everything from the folded clean towels, everything mm. just everywhere. Mm. I'm going all through each room tearing shit. It's pill bottles. I had the pill bottles organized, pills everywhere. They flying all on the floor. Food thrown everywhere. I poured the juice down the drain. I'm tearing shit up. Yeah, you going full so demolition. So he on takes this my shoes and my purse and runs and put them in the safe. Because he knows I'm about to leave. <laughs> So I'm like, give me my shit. No. So I take his shoes, his new shoes, they were some red bottoms. I stuff them in my shirt, and I'm finna walk out the door. He snatches me, give me my stuff. Okay. So then he gets the video camera out. Look at little crazy. They told me she was crazy. Look at her. He was like, ain't one nobody even here. Won't you just spend the night clean all this shit up in the morning? So a part of me was like, you know what? We know where you're going. We know where you're going. You are, we already know where you're going. They know where you're going. Well, a part of me was like, you know what? I could. I really ain't even all that mad. But I could stay and I could spend the night. I ain't cleaning shit up. I ain't all that mad. I ain't all that mad. You pour this juice. You all this shit. And I ain't all that mad. That is as petty as you can get to pour Keep the going, juice Petty out. McFarlane. But I was right. like. <laughs> He poured the juice out. You don't get no penny in But I was like, you know what? Nah, he got to learn. 
so I go, I get my shit finally. He's, I didn't know he had my ID and my card. He still had that. But anyways, I end up leaving because I'm trying to prove a point. I'm thinking he going to say sorry. I think he going to chase me. He ain't do shit. <laughs> I fell right into his court. Now he knew I cared. After I ran away, said I was done, I cared. I ain't going to lie, it did make me care again. I, did, I didn't care it before then. So I leave. I don't get no apology. This nigga at the club partying. I mean, he having a week full of partying. He done rented out a mansion. They got, I pop up to the mansion. He was shook. It was hoes everywhere. I'm like, I I don't get to experience this. You bring hoes to a mansion? Long story short, what? he flipped it. Oh, he flipped it on me. That nigga's a 3 2 3 I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, hey, you better get out of this. You better become one of the 96 name, Bulls. Is the nigga named Billy? I don't know. <laughs> but if you want about. a nigga, was the nigga just capacity, right give here. us a call. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you. You just hold tight. Just hold tight. God damn. Shit. <laughs> this is nigga in the mansion. Come on, this nigga man. in the mansion. It's all good, though. God damn right it's all good. You don't get to experience none of this. Fuck that shit, Neil. <laughs> Great job. Uh, hey, right good shit. Job. 